Soldier from 13 RR unit of the army shoots five colleagues dead at a camp in Gandharbal in Jammu and Kashmir and then later killed himself. The army has ordered a high-level probe into the incident. Farid is with us for more. Farid, this is really a tragedy of immense proportion and what a deadly incident of fratricide. What are the initial details that you can share? Uh, yes, a uh, very deadly incident. Of course, uh, uh, according to army sources, this uh, happened uh, in uh, uh, the dead of the night, uh, that is in the intervening night when a soldier who has been identified as Ranbir Singh of the 13 Rajshri Rifles uh, ran amok. In fact, uh, we really don't have the exact details as to, as to what really led to this extreme uh, decision of this soldier. He then took his service rifle and shot dead five of his colleagues, after which he uh, shoot himself dead. Now, uh, right now I can tell you that a uh, high-level court of inquiry has been ordered by the army. Uh, as of now, they're tight-lipped as to what really led uh, the soldier to take this extreme step. But yes, there could be stress, uh, there could have been some kind of altercation, all these things. Uh, do uh, really, of course, they uh, they work in a lot of stress, uh, and that could be one reason. But uh, all very premature. Once the investigation is completed, then only we'll come to know what exactly led to this. But yes, a very shocking incident. This sent shock waves across the rank and file of uh, the army. And uh, right now, although officially the army has come up with just uh, three four lines, uh, uh, saying that uh, they are they have uh, initiated a court of inquiry and uh, they are uh, seeing as to what really led to this, but. Uh, but definitely a shocking incident and uh, right now I'm, uh, I'm very close in fact outside the camp and I can see uh, many officers going in and out and uh, uh, right. investigations in full swing. Back to right, you. right. This is an incident that really will shake the rank and file of the army. Five army men killed by a colleague. Farid, tell us, doesn't this also expose a lar larger malaise? This is not the first incident of fratricide, if I'm not mistaken. It exposes the fact that army men face a grave danger from within the ranks because they are, of course, always uh, moving around with armed men. Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, they're, they're, uh, in fact, the army previously many times uh, has come on record saying that they have really uh, given attention to detail as far as this particular aspect is concerned because this is uh, something that is very dangerous. In fact, previously also there have been many instances where fratricide has happened and every time uh, the army has said that they are initiating some kind of courses, uh, be it yoga or de-stressing courses so as to ensure that uh, these Javans are de-stressed because they work in an environment of stress. Uh, there is a lurking danger every time. They work in a lot of uh, stressful conditions. So that mm -hmm. definitely is going to hurt them psychologically. So as to take care of that, there needs to be some kind of mechanism, some kind of uh, de-stressing courses or more uh, soldier to soldier contact from the officers in order to ensure that uh, deep within they're not, something is not brewing up that ultimately leads to this. So those things uh, really need, to, is the need of the hour and now definitely after this shocking incident the army will look into it and uh, certainly certain steps need to be taken because uh, it is uh, definitely in the past also we have seen that uh, soldiers uh, who are stressed out uh, because of uh, the, the kind of duty they do. Most of these soldiers are on duty for around six to eight hour continuous shifts. So that really stresses them out and maybe some uh, coupled with some domestic problem and other issues, uh, they really uh, are psychologically hurt and then they can take these extreme steps. So all these factors need to be taken into account and army really needs to do some homework and uh, go to the drawing board and see as to what needs to be done in the form of action or or maybe some de-stressing courses, yoga or other things that right, uh, right. really can be done for these soldiers so that such things mm -hmm. don't happen because this is a very dangerous uh, trend and needs to be uh, really taken care of.